Okay, another practice session with the answer. Okay, just developing and that's a nice shot. This puts me in a position that I really don't like playing. I know how to play but it gives the um, opponent many variables in terms of loads of advantages that they can create. Not many people do do it, um, so I'm hoping they go for the simplified version. So he's going for the simple so far. Yes, so he's gone simple. So that's working so far for us. The complicated one where there are big advantages when to bring the queen around here and start messing around, and it is really quite strong for white. So it's a terrible, terrible opening type position play for black. But because we're in end game opening, we don't really care what they, the opponent does because we're going to find the benefit either way. So whatever they throw, we're ready for it. Do we take this queen? Let's look at it before we do a knee jerk reaction. We're equal on the board. We're not really in a bad position apart from his queen being able to come here but our queen is defending I'm just going to simply take yep simply take and I'm going to no hold on a second develop the bishop here and I think this sort of opening type movements that we've just done definitely shows the aspect of you can't go blasting forward there thinking that you're going to win the show you've got to really use basic good quality chess moves good foundation to then really go with a full on end game opening I'm going to bring the knight off of the edge going to capture putting pressure onto his let's just capture so this is all getting simplified down his bishop's tied to this pawn so he's going to have to bring that one down so bring the rook across in the centre here so everything's all fine and dandy just push this pawn here because it's looking to do a stealth attack and this is basically like a, a drawn position if you like yep so how do we make it not a drawn position just put these onto white squares it's attacking our bishop looking to close it down could stay onto this side here just as a little bit of a guarder because he's gonna have to move these pawns at some stage so I'm gonna bring this down can expect that his pawns going to come pushing down onto where onto there but that will then open up his king gear if he does do that. Okay, so where do we go from here? We could just push this pawn here. His king's on this side. We could push the pawn onto his pawn. I think he will take. Yep, so could grab. Or we could take with the bishop and be on his bishop. Let's go be on his bishop. Keep it simple. His king's further advanced down the board, so he's feeling champion. Yep. Let's just push here. The further down they gravitate. Let's see. Simple again. Just capture. And his king is right down at the bottom, so we've got two pawns now that we can actually go and grab. So it was almost like a little trick that we played on the opponent. The further down the board he was coming, the weaker he was making his pawns. And now we can come and attack this one but before we do do that let's have a look at the situation let's go here his rook will want to come and attack this pawn oh he's not done so bring the king here he's looking to condense our king isn't he i see yeah so let's take this pawn or maybe they i don't know do they feel they may have lost the thread a little bit now um okay so there is something we could try let's go here and his king is just there so if we hmm just push the pawn I think you can see what I'm trying to attempt to do if I move my king up while he's thinking I'm just thinking potentially coming here but his king can come to this square yeah I thought it was going to be a little bit of a checkmate, to her, but it's not. So now he can put pressure onto our king. And that's not what we want. So I'm going to put pressure on his king by putting a check here. And then putting a check here. And then taking this pawn off the board. 
So it's going to get our pawn down the far side. So it's coming around the back to put a checkmate on me. How dare he? So let's move here. Not too concerned about these pawns, bless them. If he's going to take the rook off, then he will basically be losing. So we'll go here and come across. And now he's coming for the pawn, which we can defend now. So he'll probably come behind this pawn here. Just bring the king up. Maybe bring it across. And the more we do that, we're actually condensing his king in. So we'll attack the rook. And we'll probably end up getting a checkmate because he wants to move his rook. Checkmate. So that again <laughs> shows the idea behind the end game opening. The slow incremental steps towards taking piece off the board. This was a very simple opening um, position that we had. Just taking pieces off the board a bit at a time, but it was strategically because we then created weaknesses on both sides of the board and then we condensed the king down and started smothering the king. So we used both of those processes um, in a strategically w st a strategical way sorry, um, to gain an advantage on the board. So that is the answer to chess.